Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, nice to meet you. My name is Diana and I make videos all about my life here in Germany. For today, I actually want to go ahead and talk about things that you will not see in Germany. Now, I've been living here for the last year and a couple of months now, so I've definitely noticed some things that we don't have here that I sort of took for granted when I lived back home. So I wanted to share some of that with you guys and of course if you have any things that you want to share, especially if you moved abroad, definitely let me know down below and if you know maybe why uh, Germany doesn't have these things, also let me know down below because I always want to learn about your culture and know the reasoning why you guys do things. So yeah, let's get started. One of the first things that I noticed and also that my little brother noticed when he came to visit last year is that at the drugstores, they don't actually sell any sort of junk food. Whereas in Canada and the US, if you walk into CVS or Walgreens, you know that you are gonna be okay if you need junk food. You're gonna be able to find chips and chocolate bars and you can even sometimes buy eggs and fruits and also uh, milk if you need to. So that's actually something that's not common here at all. Drugstores here really are for more health products and beauty products and you definitely will not find like really bad quality food here. I know that DMs and Rosmans do have a food section, but usually the food that they do sell is more healthy food and like bio food, things that are actually good for you and not like things that are full of chemicals and all like these horrible ingredients. So yeah, that's very, very different. Uh, so don't expect to come here and go into a DM and get your fix of chips and chocolate if that's what you're looking for uh, you'll definitely have to go to a regular grocery store for that another thing that you will not find here is ac now this is something that i'll still have to get used to because coming from north america as soon as the weather gets a little bit warm as soon as we see the sun come out we will usually turn our acs on and i know that it's super bad for the environment but it's just something that I grew up with and now there is no AC where I live and it's very very rare to find AC in any German home whatsoever and I feel like Germans also are not a big fan of AC um, in my office there's one little room that has an AC and I am always in there because I'm just a freak like that and people always come into that room when they need to talk to me and they're like it's way too cold in here and they just keep telling me that I'm gonna get sick so I feel like they're just not a big fan of it and they manage to survive summer without ACs but it is definitely something that I will have to get used to because even when you go um, to restaurants sometimes they don't have AC or if you go to malls sometimes the AC isn't on and also at the gym oh my god there is no AC at the gym which Ah, it's so crazy. I still can't believe it because especially if you are in a small room at the gym where people are sweaty and gross and then there's no AC, it's such a nightmare to work out like that. Um, so yeah, it's definitely something that you will be shocked about if you are coming from North America. So get used to it. Buy a little portable fan and put it at your desk at work and at home because you will need it. The third thing that I wanted to talk about is drive throughs Now, in North America, in the US, Canada, you will find drive throughs everywhere. You will find uh, McDonald's drive through Starbucks drive throughs any type of drive through even for banks there are drive throughs here it is so rare to see a drive through you might see it on the Autobahn if you're going long distances but within the cities or even in the suburbs it is so rare to see a drive through anywhere and I don't know why this is the case maybe um, people don't drive here as much as they do back home I know that but I don't know, I just think it's just part of the culture. There are no drive throughs anywhere. I never really noticed drive throughs when I was back home because they were everywhere, but now I'm definitely starting to notice that I don't even know where there is a drive through even if I wanted to go out of my way and find one here. There's just nowhere to be found. Measuring cups, guys. 
If you use measuring cups for cooking, for baking, get you some when you are in the US because you will not be able to find these anywhere here. And I use these every single day and I'm so glad that I did buy some when I went back home because it is so hard to bake or cook, especially if you like following recipes because here all of the recipes are in ounces and that's what they use for baking. And I believe also milliliters, I'm not sure, but I know for sure ounces is something that they use. They use. So usually at stores, they will have weighing scales where you can actually weigh how many ounces you wanna put of ingredients if you're baking or cooking. And that's just not something that I'm used to. And so yeah, definitely get yourself some measuring cups. I know it seems like a really stupid thing, but these are so useful. I went to the dollar store and I got me some Betty Crocker um, measuring cups and I'm so glad because literally we use these every single day for everything. I love my measuring cups and I think I'm gonna stock up on some more just in case they break or something because I don't know what I would do without these. I know, it's weird, but I love these things so much. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about is the washroom situation. And if you are a girl, you will find this extremely, extremely frustrating because there are no hooks in the washroom. You will not find a hook to put your jacket, your purse, or anything. It is so annoying when you're trying to go to the washroom and you have a bunch of things with you and you have to sort of put your purse in between your legs while you squat and it's just a mess. Uh, things fall all over the place and I just don't understand this. Why are there no hooks in the washroom? I know of course some of them do but it is so rare to see them and it is definitely annoying and I don't understand why this is not a thing. It's so weird and I definitely took hooks for granted when I was back home. Oh man, it is just super annoying when having to go to public restrooms here. Yeah, I just don't get it. If you guys know why this is, please let me know. And that is pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, if you have any comments and any idea of why things are the way they are here, please let me know. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, please don't forget to. I am trying to get to 20K uh, by my birthday, which is in August. So if you guys can help me out, that would be really awesome. I would appreciate it so much. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye.